Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today I want to show you how you can add a YouTube video into a PowerPoint presentation. It's extremely easy to do and I'm going to show you step by step how you can insert it. And along the way, I'm also going to show you some advanced tips. All right, well, let's jump on the PC and I'll show you how. Here I am on my PC and I have the latest and greatest version of Microsoft PowerPoint that comes with Microsoft 365. Even if you're using an older version of Microsoft PowerPoint, you should still be able to follow along because the ability to insert a video has existed for some time. Here I am and I have a slide and I'd like to put a YouTube video right smack in the center of my slide. How do I do that? Well, I want to insert a video. So up here on the top tabs, there's an option for insert. Let's click on that. Once I click on insert, this opens up the insert ribbon and over on the very far right hand side, you'll see the category for media and within here, there's the option to insert a video. Let's click on this. This opens up a sub menu and I have two options. I could insert an online video or a video on my PC. A YouTube video is an online video, so let's select the first option. This opens up a dialog to insert an online video and it asks me to enter the URL for the online video. Let's open up our web browser with YouTube and we're gonna get the video's URL. I have my web browser open and I have this video here that I recorded not too long ago on how to use the free Windows 10 video editor and I'd like to bring this into PowerPoint. As a quick aside, did you know that Windows 10 includes a free video editor? Yes, believe it or not, it comes with a free video editor. All you have to do is click on your start menu, type in video editor, and then you'll see a best match appear, and that's your free video editor. It's actually not a bad video editor. You could do some nice basic edits with it. Okay, so back to the topic of getting this video into Microsoft PowerPoint, how do we do it? Well, right down here, right by the like and dislike, you'll see a button that says share. If you click on this, this opens up the YouTube share control. You have a whole bunch of different ways that you can share a video. And the one right down here is the URL for the video. This is what we want to bring back into PowerPoint. If you wanna start the video at the very beginning of the video, you could simply copy it as is. However, if you wanna bring the video into PowerPoint and you wanna start at a specific section, you can check this box. Now I'm gonna close this for just a moment. And if you want a video to start at a specific portion, simply choose the point in the video where you want it to start. So maybe at 18 minutes and 49 seconds, this is a spot where I want PowerPoint to start playing my video. Once again, I click on share and you'll see now that it says start at 18 minutes and 49 seconds. If I check this box, it appends a T equals 1129 to the end. This is basically how many seconds into the video where we want the start point to be. So this looks good to me. Let me click on copy. Now that I've copied the video URL, I'm back here in PowerPoint and all I need to do now is I could right click and click on paste or I could use the window shortcut control V and that'll paste in the URL. Once you paste in the URL, click on insert. Look at that. This now inserts my video into my slide. And at this point you could be done if you just want the basic functionality. So when I click the play button now, you'll see the video start playing moving or maybe your video clip. You'll see here that it started right at 1849, which is the timestamp that I inserted. So once again, if you have a long video that you're inserting, this is a helpful way for it to start exactly at the point where you want it to start. Once I paste the video into the presentation, if I click on the video, you'll see that two additional options appear on the top bar. I have video format and I have playback. I briefly wanna talk about what you can do with these two. This could help you enhance the way the video looks as part of your presentation. Within video format, there are a whole bunch of different options here. For instance, you could do color corrections to a video if you want to. You could even recolor it and you could adjust the poster frame. What does poster frame mean? Well, you see here that my video that I inserted uses the thumbnail that's associated with this video on YouTube. However, I could change that so I could have it fit into my presentation better. So let me click on poster frame and I'm going to use an image from a file. So I'm going to click on this option and I want to insert it from a file, but I could also insert stock imagery, online images, icons. But in this case, I have a picture on my PC. And here I'm going to use a file called thumbnail that's on my desktop. 
Here it changed the thumbnail and it now says free Windows 10 video editor and I think this looks a little cleaner on my presentation. If for whatever reason I was unhappy with the image that I inserted, I could click on poster frame and then I could go ahead and reset it. But I'm satisfied with this thumbnail so I'm gonna stick with it as is. Now over here, there are a whole bunch of different styles that you could apply. So let's say that you want your video to play within a frame. I could pick this one. I think this looks pretty smooth and it frames it nicely on my slide. And then you have all your other typical controls here where you can move it up and down on layers. You could apply a certain shape to it, a certain border to it, or even add, let's say, a shadow to it if that's what you'd like to do. Now, if I click on the next option on top of the ribbon, there's another setting here for playback. So when I click on that, I see all of my playback controls. Because this is a YouTube video, most of the different controls are grayed out. However, I can change one of them and it's the start option. For start, you see a drop down list and I can have it start when I click on it or I could simply have it start automatically when I load this slide. So that's another option that I have if I just wanted to start playing. I'm satisfied with the default of in-click sequence. Now, the last thing that I also wanna show you, just like any other object within PowerPoint, I could go ahead and I could expand the size, I could reduce the size. So however big or small I want this video to appear, and then I could reposition this object on the slide. So I'm gonna go ahead and just center it directly in the middle of the slide. And now I'm gonna click on play and let's see how this works. And there it goes, my video is now playing within PowerPoint and I can skip ahead. I have all my standard YouTube controls. I could even jump into YouTube if I prefer to watch it there. All right, well that was a quick video showing you how you can insert a YouTube video into a PowerPoint presentation. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below. That's how I build my list of videos to create. All right, well that's all I have for you today. I hope to see you next time, bye.